Monica, on friends showed how miserable a cold can be. Most adults get two to three colds a year. The symptoms may last anywhere from two days to two weeks. Common colds are blamed for about 25 million sick days a year and also empty beds. In our morning rounds, Dr. Tara Narula shows us the challenges of finding a cure. Tara, good morning. Good morning. The symptoms of what we now call the common cold have been documented for thousands of years. But even with advances in medicine, creating a vaccine or cure is more complicated than you think. A runny nose, sneezing, coughing, headache, and sore throat typically lead to a self-diagnosis of the common cold. And while the symptoms are annoyingly clear, the prevention and cures are not so obvious. About 200 different viruses cause the common cold. The viruses latch onto cells on the back of your throat and multiply, attacking your nose, throat, and airways. The common cold doesn't kill anybody. And so Dr. Jeffrey Linder of Brigham and Women's Hospital says for now, treating your body's reaction to the virus is your only defense. My three go-to things for the common cold are rest, fluids, and then an analgesic and fever-reducing medicine like either Tylenol or ibuprofen uh, tends to help the most. Drugstores offer hundreds of over-the-counter medicines and remedies for the common cold. They come in the form of tablets, liquids, or syrups. Last year, consumers spent over $7 billion on these products. And while they may offer some relief, there still is no cure for the common cold in sight. I hate to be a downer um, about not having a cure for the common cold, but there's a, there's a number of reasons. He says pharmaceutical companies would have to invest a lot of time and money because there's so many different viruses and the potential drug would have to have a near perfect safety profile. People don't die from it and so you'd have to have something that's inexpensive, effective and doesn't cause harm on its own. Drug companies have tried to produce a cure but turns out the side effects were worse than the cold itself. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He says it would be nearly impossible to prevent the hundreds of different viruses. Developing one vaccine against one or two or three of them is almost folly. The odds are your vaccine is not going to be doing a pretty good job of protecting you. For most of us, a cold is often more annoying than dangerous, but the elderly, children, and those with weak immune systems or chronic lung disease can suffer serious consequences, even death from the cold. Dr. Fauci and his team of researchers are focusing on potential treatments and vaccines for specific viruses that are more dangerous. We tend not to think about the cure of the cold. We think about taking individual viruses and determining whether it's feasible or possible to be able to develop a cure. Finding a cure or vaccine for the many common cold viruses is not a top priority for the major pharmaceutical companies. So if you're suffering from a cold this holiday season, it's best you treat the symptoms, get some rest, and maybe eat some of grandma's chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you even have a little bit of a cold. That's how a we know bit. there really is no, when the doctor has a cold. I, that's right, unfortunately. <laughs> but I think it's an important story because I think that inclination is to go get antibiotics. Absolutely, and that's not the right thing to do. Well, we've heard you talk about what happens when you do that too often. That's right, unless it progresses to a bacterial infection, which it can, but for most people, it's not right to jump to the antibiotic. The only cure is a little suffering, yeah. <laughs> and rest. Yes, and rest. a humidifier works wonders, too. <laughs> well, we hope Thank that you, you feel better, Dr. Thank Turner. you. Thank you so much.